Hello friends, welcome to your own YouTube channel Achievers Data Engineering. My name is Gyanendra and in this video of Power BI interview questions and answer series, we are going to talk about the difference between DAX functions all, all selected and all accept in Power BI. So at a time it becomes very confusing between these three DAX functions. So we are going to have a practical demo on these functions so that we can understand it easily. So what is the difference? Let's start with a practical session now. So let's get started. All right, guys. So now I'm on a Power BI report and just to save some time, I have already created a basic skeleton of the report. So now you can see here, I have created a matrix and uh, I have these three slicers created, which is nothing but year, product category and territory name. Let me also introduce you to the data that I have. Uh, so the data that I have right now, I have taken it from the AdventureWorks database. And just for the demo, I have, you know, taken only sample data. Now here you can see that I have some sales data, like it has sales order IDs, order quantity, sales amount, order date, territory ID, territory name, and product subcategory, right? So now what we will be trying to do here, uh, I'll try to go ahead and test and see the sales amount of regardless of any product we will try to see the sales amount and compare it between different territories right so that we can make it simple i don't want to make it complicated because these three dax functions are already complicated and confusing so now as you can see here i have already got uh, these territory names in the canvas and this sales amount and as of now, the sales amount I'm using directly from the column. So let's get it started. I'll just go ahead and create first measure that would be total sales. So let me name it as total sales. And I'll go ahead and use some sales amount. All right. So this is total sales and I'll go ahead and drag it over here. So now because this is kind of cal getting calculated and this is by default from the column. So obviously it is going to return the same result as of now. So I'll go ahead and uncheck the first one and so that I can have only calculated values. Now let's start with the first DAX which is all. So I'll go ahead and create a new measure and I'll name as sales underscore all. Now when we are going to use these functions, uh, first, of all, first of all, we need to give it an expression. So I'll use calculate function in the beginning. So calculate. Now expression is going to be the total sales, the measure that we have already created. So total sales. All right. Now let's say all. Now if we get the basic definition of this DAX, it says it returns all the rows in a table or all the values in a column, ignoring any filters that might have been applied, right? So I believe it's kind of very basic at this point of time. Once we will apply this all filter, it will ignore any other filter that which have been applied and return all the values based on the column that we are going to specify, all right? So what we will do, we will say we want all and let's define the table name as it says, so table or column name. So uh, just to make it simple, all functions I will create using territory names as we discussed. So because we are going to compare sales and all these three tags using territory name. So let's use that column only. And I'll use this column and close the bracket. All right, now I'll go ahead and drag this into the canvas. And where is this territory name? Sales all. All right, sorry. Okay. Now, what you can see here, 
the first measure that we uh, you know dragged here uh, total sales now that is actually showing the sales of each territory and regardless of you know year it is actually being calculated and being filtered and then it is showing the results now in this dax where we have specified all and we have specified the territory name now what it is doing it is actually excluding any filter any filter which has been applied and returning all the values so if you can see the total sales the subtotal of sales is actually the same value in all the rows now even if i go ahead and you know uh, kind of change uh, like if i go ahead and change any values in these slicers the value will change but if i go ahead and change any values in the territory name values will return the same right because what it is doing it is ignoring any other filters and like any filters which i will apply in this column it will not consider that and it will regardless of any unselection it will always return all the values so let me repeat in case of territory name because we have specified that in sales all territory name so it will make sure that it will return sum of sales of all territories regardless of which one i have selected here right so even if i select a single one for example australia it is still returning the same amount even if i select all of them right so now i hope it is clear as of now so let's jump to the another measure and go ahead and click on new measure and name it as sales underscore all selected all right so same pattern calculate total sales all selected all right so now what all selected does it returns all the rows in a table or all the values in a column ignoring any filters that might have been applied inside the query but keeping the filters that come outside of the query right that come from outside right so let's see that actually in practical so again i will go ahead and use this territory column just to keep it simple all right let me drag that all right now as of now you can see it is actually returning the same value for all of them but let me just go ahead and maybe uncheck and just select three of them now what is the difference between all and all selected all measure is still returning the sum of sales of all territories regardless how many i have selected right so i have selected only three but this value is actually the sum of sales of all territories however in this case where i have mentioned all selected and i have specified this column so it is returning sum of only these three territories right so again if i go ahead and add one more this sum will be added so the sum of france will be added and now this subtotal of these four territories is being returned in all selected right so again let me repeat sales all which is, which was nothing but the all dax it is returning all the values it is returning the sum of sales of all territories regardless which one i have selected however sales all selected is returning the sum of sales from only selected territories right so now uh, let's go ahead and create one more measure that will be all accept so let's name it as sales underscore all except again the same pattern calculate total sales oops calculate total sales and all except now again all except what it is doing it is returning all the rows in a table except for those rows that are being affected by the specified column right so it is saying that it will turn all the rows only it will give an exception for which one is been specified in this particular query or index right 
So again, let's take the same column to keep it simple. So sales table and territory name and close the bracket. Let me drag that here. All right. So now at this point of time, because I have all the territories and all the filters selected, it is returning the same values as it is returning for the total sales, like the sum of sales, right? However, if I just go ahead and, you know, again, unselect all and select only single one, still you can see it is actually following the pattern of total sales. Though these sales all and sales all selected following the same pattern that we just discussed, like the sum of sales from all territories, sum of sales of only selected territories. Now, if I go ahead and uncheck any year over here, right? Now you will notice these numbers are being changed. However, this number is not getting any, you know, it's not getting any difference. It is still returning the same values. Similarly, if I go ahead and make any, you know, changes in this filter, like if I select accessories, bikes or components, it is remaining, it is always returning the same value. However, these values are getting changed as I am changing these filters. So now what does it mean? What it is saying that once we are using all except DAX, it is actually ignoring, it is it is like ignoring all the filters and it will only following the filter which is being applied in that DAX. So in that DAX, we have mentioned this territory column, right? So it is actually getting filtered only when I am changing this filter, which is referring to that column. And if I change any other filter, it is not changing any value, right? All right, so let me again repeat it from the beginning just to make it clear. So total sales is the common like sum of all the sales and uh, this will be filtered uh, as we are changing the values. Now, when it comes to sales all, this sales all is returning the sum of all sales from sales from all territories regardless of which one I select because we have specified that ignore any filter and give me sum of sales of all territories. Now, when we come to sales all selected, we are saying, okay, so give me sum of sales, but only for the selected territories. So if I select only two, give me the sum of sales for only two territories, which I have selected. All right. Now, when it comes to all except, it is saying that, okay, do not change its value until I am changing territory name. If someone is like changing any values, any other filters, then its value will not change. It will ignore those filters. Only filter that it will accept would be territory name. All right. So I hope, I mean, it is kind of clear as of now, just to recap, uh, we can say that all returns all the rows in a table, right? So it returns all the rows in a table or all the values in a column, ignoring any filters that we have applied, right? So what we can use it, this function can be useful for clearing filters and creating calculations on all the rows in a table. So this is a situation where we can use this all DAX. Now moving to the all selected, all selected removes the context filters from column and rows in the current query while retaining all the context filters and explicit filter, right? So as we saw, it is kind of ignoring other filters, but explicitly uh, you know, following the filters that we are applying. And where we can use this, this function can be used to obtain visual totals in query. So if you want to you know, show any visual where we want to show the totals of selected values only in on that situation, we can utilize this all selected. Moving to the third one, all accept. So all except removes the context filters in the table, except the filter that we have applied in apply to the specified column, right? So it was ignoring all the filters and following only the filter that we specified within that query, within that DAX, right? So where we can use, uh, it's kind of an exceptional. Uh, so this fun function is not used by itself, but it serves as an intermediate function that can be used to change the set of results over which 
some other calculations is performed right so now i hope you have got some clear understanding uh, between uh, the difference between all all selected and all accept now one thing to note here that these functions might not work in a proper way when it when they are used in the direct query mode or in row level security so if you want to get into details um, when what would be the exceptions i'll mention a link in the description for the microsoft documentation and uh, you can go through the process so I hope you have liked the content and you have got a good understanding what is the difference between these three DAGs. So if you like the content, please go ahead and hit the like button and do subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on any latest video which I upload. Thank you for watching. Keep learning. Have a great day.